But for two seven years, I come on every SML Academy. Today, I just want to dive in with a whole group the reports that they released a few weeks ago. So basically, I think we did a video on dividends explaining what are dividends. Right? So now, a company, you know, uh, at the end of the year or sometimes maybe quarterly, they will give a report as to how is the business going right? and uh, the things that the company has achieved or the stuff that, you know, they're going to implement coming the next year or the things that they are still planning to try and get them done. Right? So now, basically, the people group, we told you guys, it's the mad company, the easy equities, meaning they own the easy equities. And then currently, their share price, the last time I checked, it was 115 cent. And for those who are on our challenge, which is 50, 12, but I will encourage you guys, Mosi, let's do a challenge by you are investing 50 rand every month to help you guys get used to the whole idea of investing and also get used to a platform as an easy equities. And also, we selected the people group because it's cost a rent and I think that time it was costing around two three rent. And again, we always tell you a lot of people think to invest you need tens of thousands or even thousands of rent, which is not the case. So this challenge we actually created it to make you aware and also make people understand which you don't need a lot of money to invest. And any doctor that is very nice about buying stocks stocks or shares. You don't have to buy the whole share. We always tell you if a share costs you a hundred rand, you can always buy for 50 bucks. And the next month, you can add another amount and then you can have a full share. So, meaning you can buy in fraction. You understand? So, one of the things that we noted on the reports, I'm just going to go through stuff that I think is important. Right? Groups revenue it increased by 12.7%. Uh, and that gave them 123 million from 109 million in 2002. So basically, you can see there is growth with the company. Right? And then the other thing is group registered clients by uh, they increased by 22.4. So now uh, it's got to 1.8 million. That means registered users at Easy Equities now it's sitting at 1.8 million or even above that as we speak now. And then in 2021, they had 1.47 million registered users. So you can see also there is a growth on that side. And I always tell you guys, man, Nenga focus in my chart, don't focus on the uh, fat and also information that you're just going to get from regular people who have their own agendas. You have to look at how the company is doing. I always make an example of April. The people who believe in April and love April and buy April, they worship the product. And we all know every time April releases a new product, people are just going to jump on it to buy it. So that is a company that you know what it's giving a product that people love and they are willing to spend whatever price that is put there on the market. So they believe in this product. Right? Okay, moving on, they say group active clients, right? they increased by 23.8%. Right? So to 133,082. Right? In 2002, they had just about 600,000 users, so active clients. So now that means this year they are looking at above 800,000. So moving on guys, last year I think I've told you and also I've told those people who are still not sure about the easy equities as to who are these people, where are they coming from, is it another triple nine or another pyramid scheme or whatever. They made a partnership with a Discovery Bank and also they already had a partnership with Capital Bank. So that was also one of a great move that happened last year by them securing that partnership. We all know a Discovery is a big company. If Uma has a Discovery, then clearly there's something that you are doing that is wrong. Isn't it? So moving on guys, in the next six months, they are looking at launching in Kenya. So I did check Kenya's population, it's almost 
like ours because they said in, in South Africa we have 50 million people plus minus 50 million in Kenya they have plus minus 47 million so now they still waiting for regulators in Kenya to give them a go so they can launch in Kenya which is a good thing that means easy equities is not only focusing here in South Africa but they are also branching out and doing business in other countries as we all know africa has a population of more than 1 billion people so if easy equities can really infiltrate the markets in different places in africa they will have a lot of clients and obviously we will see the share price of people go going up and there will be more people who are joining in and the platform and also just using the service of the easy equities yeah? on another one a very important one they are planning to create something which is called the easy credit with low cost loan against your portfolio. Lazy is Dina Avoka Badila, people who are a little bit, you know, mature and also a little bit experienced when it comes to how the whole thing works. Because Lana, what you do is you can take a loan against your portfolio. Né? So now what is special about these loans? Né? Uh, they will cost you less than what your regular uh, financial institutions that we know uh, might charge you when it comes to a high interest rate. You know? And also very important, if you take a loan, you, know, you are not going to be taxed on that money. Robert Kiyosaki, he talks a lot about how the rich people avoid AMA taxes. And one of the things the rich people do, they take loans against their assets what they own so basically this is one of the service that the easy equities is planning to come up with and get it up and running as soon as possible and i'm also looking forward to this one because i think it's actually gonna help them to generate even more revenue and also even more profit you know? but very important note on this one like i did tell you guys you need to understand how it works to leverage you need to understand how it works when you use your portfolio to take a loan up against your portfolio. Hopefully, you will use this responsibly and then please do not abuse this. It doesn't mean now, because you have access to this service, now when a challenge you wanna go and turn up, then you think you must take a loan from easy equities against your portfolio. Right? So this is for emergencies. So it's actually gonna help you if you have an emergency whereby you need to have some cash in hand. Rather than selling your share, you keep your shares, but you take your loan against your shares or your portfolio. Né? But please, guys, you may not abuse it and do read up on this one, which is leveraging against your portfolio. But there's only three ways that a rich guy or a wealthy guy can get broke. But liquor, ladies, leverage. Liquor, leverage ladies and this one is leverage ne? so please do read up on it try to understand it and also i'm just going to do an episode or a video where i'm going to just be diving deeper in it trying to make you guys understand and also try to simplify it with how does it work because ne? maybe for someone as says the issue we are beginner investors maybe if you are watching you'll be like leverage you've never even heard the word anywhere ne? so we will dive in on it on our upcoming videos please do look forward to that and also we are looking forward for you guys to watch and also tell us your comment as to maybe it is simplified in a way that you understand or maybe it was useful Ninga Kotrai, Bafesis Lezis, Nijera, Esmela, Academy City, and Invest and Spend.